Hey guys, Happy New Year, uh, or Happy 2012, however you want to say it. Um, I haven't been out in the shop much lately, I've been kind of not feeling that great. But uh, it's kind of hard to get motivated. Weather is kind of craptacular. It's, uh, it's, you know, warm, but it's pouring rain out. So, uh, anyways, I haven't been out much. I'm going to, probably not going to do much today. I'm just going to uh, siphon the gas out of that... Uh, out of that Porsche there, and uh, I might try and start the uh, Studebaker, I don't know. I'm just sucking on the hauls here, if you don't mind. But, uh, in any case, I'm going to get to it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try and start this thing. And uh, I've got my doors open, which luckily it's a reasonably warm day. Uh, got a fuel tank rigged up. I didn't. Ha I couldn't find any... Uh, proper fuel line so this is just gonna have to do going down to the fuel pump and uh, this thing should be ready to go here so I'll set up the camera well, I'll reconnect the battery but I'll set up the camera and we'll uh, see if it'll go I already primed the carburetor Predictably, the uh, battery is none too good. So I'll pause you guys, put it on charge, and we'll uh, try again. Okay, uh, it's on charge. We'll see uh, if it'll start now. Six volt positive ground system. I would expect it to fire because I did dump some gas in the cab or cab carb. Um, I'm gonna pause you guys at this charge for a bit, see if I can get it to work a little better. Okay, I just tried it one time uh, with the camera off and uh, got it to fire. So I know at least it's got spark. Um, not drawing any gas out of the gas jug yet, despite a fair bit of cranking yet, so I'm a little bit concerned, to say the least. Okay, I'll let 
that charge a little longer. flooded it, but, you know, did dump a fair bit of gas in the car. <clears throat> yeah, it's not firing anymore. So, anyways, I'll pause this for a bit and turn you guys back on when uh, I see it firing again. Okay, gonna try again. go. We'll see how long it runs. Not even really smoking. I've gotten this thing running for, I don't know, a year or two now. That's why the battery is a little dead. I didn't do any buggering around. I just, uh, just lucked out this time I decided it was going to work. I'm glad I got the doors open to get stuck out here. And now it is starting to smoke a bit. Coincidence that as soon as I turned off the charger, that uh, it died. Oh, that battery's just about done. Just try it again. charge. I'll try again. This is the only six volt vehicle I've got so I'm kind of cautious about uh, not leaving it on six volts. I'll give myself some grief. And the battery is not getting warm. I've got fuel on the line to the fuel pump.
without priming the carb, it fired a couple of times, so I think it is finally drawn off my gas jug there. But I'm going to let it go for a bit and see if the uh, thing charges a bit. Okay, no priming, so that should be running off of whatever's uh, being drawn into the car. I'm going to disconnect the battery charger again and we're going to see what happens. It's about 40 here, somewhere between 30 and 40. smoking so I know it needs a carb kit because you can hear the hesitation so uh, the accelerator pump is gone I'm assuming that that carb has an accelerator pump I, I assume that all would but nonetheless yeah I'm gonna try and move this thing up what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring it around uh, that way and uh, get it out of the way so that I can bring the the uh, 4x4 forward, and then maybe I can bring the F350 in here and work on it as well. But I better do this before you get gassed up. Transmission isn't selecting any gear. So it's either out of fluid or we've got some serious problem going here. Okay, well, I'm gonna pause you guys, stop you guys. Probably that's it for today. Um, 
I was just hoping I'd just be able to quickly move it around, but uh, this isn't turning out to be one of those quick things. So, I'm going to uh, see if I can push it around. Boy, I don't hold out a lot of hope of that on this dirt floor here, but whatever. Anyways, i got to let the shop air out a bit, so I'm going to be in here for a little while longer. Okay, I thought you guys might find this interesting. Brake fluid cylinder is right there, which I knew a long time ago, but the check for the automatic transmission is here. It's not under the hood. So, just grabbed a piece of paper towel here. Let's see. I don't get to set this thing up. So I don't have to hold it. Kind of need both hands. I'll be honest, I don't know what kind of tranny fluid I'm supposed to put in this thing. I guess I'll have to go inside and have a quick look. Oh yeah, bone dry. Not a ounce on the dipstick here. But uh, add one pint at low mark. Well, I'm not even seeing anything on here. I don't know if this is like a modern automatic transmission. This is the original automatic transmission from 55. And I don't know if you should only be checking that at uh, when it's running. So anyways, there you go. <clears throat> okay, so I went inside and I uh, did a little checking on what kind of transmission fluid was recommended for this uh, vehicle. And the word is that they want you to use Type F. One guy said you could use Dextron 3 in this uh, unit, but uh, another guy pointed out that that's, these transmissions are meant to have a little bit firmer shifts, so Dextron 3 is kind of for a more slippier kind of a transmission, so I'm kind of not too crazy about just dumping some in. I do have some Dextron 3, but uh, I think I will see what I can find tomorrow. Tomorrow is uh, January 2nd and I think that everything's going to be pretty much closed. So I don't think I'm going to be doing anything with this. I probably, back, truth be known, I probably won't even bother going out because I don't think anything will be open. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for today. I won't be doing anything more with the Studebaker and there wasn't much else out here that I really wanted to work on. So uh, anyways, I'll talk to you later.